Now that the wastewater has been pumped to the trickling filters, the mechanical and physical process of primary treatment are concluded. The next step is biological treatment, which is known as the secondary treatment process. The wastewater that is pumped from the primary effluent wet well to the top of the two trickling filters is spread evenly across the surface of the filters through revolving pipes known as distribution arms. These arms have holes known as ports. The trickling filters are 86 feet in diameter and about 46 feet tall. You can see these structures as you drive along Route 1 between Cook's Corner and Main Street. The biological treatment process happens when microbes consume organic matter and wastewater and convert it to carbon dioxide, water and energy for their own growth and reproduction. The microbes grow on a plastic cross-flow type media, which looks like a honeycomb. The media in each filter is 22 feet deep. The cross-flow design enables more biological treatment to be accomplished in a smaller space because of the increased surface area. The surface area in each filter is 3,830,000 square feet, the equivalent of 80 football fields. More area means more room for microbes to grow. The slimy growth on the trickling filter media is called a zoogleal mass. It is where the microbes such as nematodes, stalked ciliates, and rotifers live and break down the organic chemical bonds in the waste. When the biological treatment in the trickling filters is complete, the microbes have eaten their fill. They are fat, dumb, and happy. The microbes will die from lack of oxygen. They fall off of the trickling filter media and exit the bottom of the filter as a solid called humus, also known as secondary sludge.